In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your themes for your week. So it's super important that you theme out your days because it's going to allow you to plug in different activities and different tasks based on what they are. So for example, um, you're not having to run out the house every single day doing errands, or maybe you're coming home from work and you're passing your grocery store. That would probably be a good time to do your grocery shopping or even your grocery pickup. The purpose of the themes is to uh, give you a roadmap for how you can plug in tasks and it's predictable and it'll allow you to be way more organized with your time so you're making the most out of your time at one time instead of bouncing from different activities all around instead of just putting everything together. So let me go ahead and put that here on paper and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So for uh, this video, I'm going to be using Asana, which is a project management system. You can create a free account yourself. I really like it because I can use it both on my computer as well as on my phone as well. And this is the beginning of creating a digital home management system. So we are going to go to the left side here and right under projects, we're going to do a new project and we are going to call this project um, to do list. And it's going to be a board. Okay. And I'm going to just go ahead and delete this here. And then I will go ahead and delete the other one as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just put in the days of the week. So we're going to have Sunday. And feel free, if you want to start your week on a Monday, that's totally fine. And we are going to list out all of the days. Great. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of themes uh, that you may find helpful. So um, I'm going to just kind of run them off here. Some themes that you might consider is an at-home theme. What an at-home theme is, is that I am literally home today. I'm not leaving the house. Um, I'm going to be doing things at home. This would be great for you if you are a stay-at-home mom, so that way you're not having to leave back and forth. Um, another one will be phone calls. So let's say that you need to schedule a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment. Um, you want to have a day in your week where you actually are making those phone calls, even if you're at work. Maybe you're doing that during your break um, or even on a Saturday, let's say. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug in those themes to give you an example. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to plug them in yet. Let me just kind of run down a couple more. You may have a catch up day where you're catching up on tasks that you didn't get a chance to do during the week. You may have a field trip um, theme. Uh, let's say your kids are home um, during the summer or they have like a spring break um, and you want to have an activities day in which you guys will do activities. Um, or if you even have young ones, you know, maybe on your activity day will be where you are going to the library for story time. Um, you may have a cleaning day. So let's say that you're not cleaning throughout the week, but instead you prefer to clean one day a week. Um, you'll have a cleaning theme as well. Maybe you have a work day. So maybe you work two or three days out of the week. Um, you're going to want to put um, work as one of your themes. Um, Hangouts. Maybe you want to hang out with your girlfriends. You can have a day during your week where you know that this is a day where I hang out with my friends. And then another one might be self-care. So maybe you're like me and your hair, maybe you do all your self-care yourself. Maybe you do your hair and your nails and your lashes and all the things. You may want to have a self-care day as well. So let me go ahead and plug that in to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to start here on Sunday. Um, I know a lot of people love to use Sundays as a day where they just either rest or they plan out their week. So for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I'm going to say uh, weekly prep here. Great. Monday, let's say Mondays, um, if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you're like, you know what, I want to go into the week not running around, so I just want Monday to be an at-home day where I'm home and I'm doing tasks that are associated with being at home. 
Great. And I'm going to jump all the way to Saturday. Let's say that you are someone who works outside of the home. You work a full-time job. Maybe Saturday is your day where you um, decide that you want to catch up on some of those cleaning tasks that you weren't able to do during the week. So for here, you might want to say, um, let's say cleaning slash hangout. So this is your time where you hang out with your girlfriends. If someone says, hey, Kelly, you know, um, let's get together for coffee. You know, more than likely you're going to schedule that on a Saturday versus like a Sunday. Uh, let's see. Let's say that your kids are in like sports and activities. Uh, maybe that happens on Wednesdays. You're going to want to put that here on Wednesdays. Uh, and you can say activities slash lessons. Like let's say if they have music lessons or anything of that nature. Um, I love using Fridays as a catch up day. So I'm going to just go ahead and put catch up here for anything that I did not complete during the week because life just happens. Uh, let's see. So we have Tuesday and Thursday. Keep in mind, I'm just using these examples, these themes as an example, uh, but feel free to use some of those themes that I referenced earlier um, as some of your themes. Let's say we have... Um, I think, did I mention the phone calls one? Yes, I did mention phone calls. I'm gonna pop phone calls right here. So let's say Tuesdays are for phone calls. And then let's say we have another at-home day where maybe you have a family budget. Maybe you can decide that Thursdays are the day where you do your family budget. So I'm gonna just say at-home. That I would consider family budget as an at-home task. And this is how you will create your themes.